Hi, my name is Rylan. I'm with Atom Jet Industries here in our plant in Brandon, Manitoba. I'd like to show you how to install the Atom Jet NH3 MRB scraper to fit the Borgo MRB Series 3 row unit. When your scrapers arrive, you should expect the following components. Scrapers, mounting arms, quarter inch by one inch roll pins, and a supply line fastening set. Here are the tools you will need to successfully complete this task. A hammer, quarter inch nut driver, 5 16 nut driver, heat gun, two half inch wrenches, and a three quarter inch socket. The orientation of the mounting arm must match the orientation of the scraper. The orientation of the scraper is determined by the side the wing sticks out. Hold the scraper with the tube close to you. On this opener, the wing points to the right, indicating this is a right scraper. Note the R on the scraper. On this scraper, the wing points to the left, so it's a left scraper. Note the L on the scraper. The mounting arm orientation is determined by holding the long shaft pointing towards you and the shorter shaft pointing up. The side the tab is on is the orientation of the mounting arm. This is a left mounting arm, and this is a right mounting arm. Take a matching set of mounting arm and scraper and fit the shorter shaft into the mounting bushing on the scraper. Next, secure the mounting arm in the scraper by installing the quarter inch by one inch roll pin in the mounting arm. If you're using quarter inch ID supply line, the scraper is ready to be installed on the row unit. If you're using 3 8 or half inch ID supply line, install the supply line junction to the double-ended hose barb. It may be helpful to warm up the hose to make installation easier. Warm up the other end of the junction and push it on to the delivery tube on the scraper and secure with a number four hose clamp. If you're using quarter inch OD supply line, loosen one side of the compression union and slide it on to the delivery line on your scraper and tighten. Now we're ready to install the assembly onto the row unit. When taking your old scrapers off of your unit, check the discs for scratches and deep gouges that can lead to plugging. Also, measure your discs to make sure they are greater than 17 inches in diameter to ensure compatibility. The next step is to install the scraper assembly in the row unit by sliding the long shaft of the mounting arm into the row unit where the old arm came out. Reinstall the original spring bushing and torsion spring and secure with the 5 16 bolt and lock nut. We recommend starting with the spring in notch two and adjusting as needed. To check the tension of the scraper, pull the bottom of the scraper away from the disc and let it snap back into place. You should hear a distinct ring. Install the same number of shims on each unit across the drill. Once you have your shims installed, loosen the two nuts holding the mounting bracket to the row unit and slide the mounting bracket up or down to position the scraper. So the bottom point of the scraper is 1 8 inch above the disc bevel. Do the same across all row units on your drill. Next, install your supply line onto the scraper fastening set. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the Atomjet MRB scraper and are ready to go to the field. If you have questions, please contact your local territory manager or go to agriculture.atomjet.com.